Eight, just straight up. <laughs> this should just this should be somewhere de halfway down top eight, but it is not. So it's a it's a best of three barn burner, I think. Right, Brando, this is best of three, right? It's not. Oh, yep. So fiction, you might be on time after all. What's poppin'? Hello, hello. This is Lev. Oh my God, Hacks versus Guava. It's a great matchup. I played Hacks in it earlier today. Was he looking good? Was he looking like Hacks? Yeah, I feel no, like Hacks only he, ever he looks was, like. Hacks. He was playing well. He was playing well. Uh, you know, he was he was able to uh, take a, a close 2-0 over me. You know, <laughs> hell yeah. But no, Guava. Good to see Guava back. Guava is Jersey Peach, uh, right. one of the three Peaches who who have ever won a nightclub. Along uh, Nico and V Bats, uh, V Bats DQ'd here, but we haven't seen Guava in I think six months. It's the last time he entered a tournament here, so it's good to see him back. It's must oh. see TV when he's here. Hopefully he is in form. Uh, sure as shit looks like it so far. Yeah, no, he's <laughs> playing well. Being up on hacks is a no small feat. And it looks like these two have never played. Ooh, that's good. He's on points. Guava is really hard to break down as someone who, like, obviously top players are better than commentators fundamentally, so it's it's always a Herculean effort, but, like, I find myself at a loss to describe what Guava does because the decisions are so intergalactic. Right. In a way that isn't randy or weird, but just, like, you can't predict them. He just, he's on, he's on the level. So yes. what, those Jersey Peaches are on something else. And each one is completely fucking different. Yeah, they have very different styles, but they obviously, they talk a lot. I've, I've actually talked a lot about uh, a few matchups, more like Peach Ditto and I think uh, Peach Marth with Guava. Um, I've never actually watched him play, though. You haven't watched Guava? I haven't watched him. I mean, I've watched fair. him behind. Yeah, he, he doesn't come around too much. Yeah. Like six months ago, I probably watched him playing a friendly or a tournament match. But so I'm, I'm trying to watch like how he's making these decisions, how he's actually getting in on hacks, because hacks sort okay. of just he's, he's what hacks wants. He's picking the the right yep. options. Makes really good use of drill, um, and everything he does is so clean, which makes it really hard for Peach. If he converts, if he gets a single drill on you. That's wave shine, wave shine, up smash. Like he's going to convert those yeah. into kills. But Guava's clearly doing something right here. Um, Hacks, Hacks always has an incredibly easy to digest game plan when you're watching it because he's so good at executing it. It doesn't have to be intergalactic. It can just be tight. Yeah. But Guava's done a good job just kind of calling stuff out. CC down smash. And good he has turn to be use. really on point too. He's uh, gotten a few power shields and good shield DI there to actually uh -oh. convert off Looking. those. Ooh, and it. Great punish game, too. Does he get it? No, he doesn't get the nair. Phenomenal spacing by Hacks hanging that far off stage. Yeah. Uh-oh. Big opportunity to put Guava in the rinse repeat. Oh, great use of double jump there. He's gonna, oh, he doesn't land on the, the platform. He uses a crazy right. double jump to can, uh, cover all of his options with back air. Good adaptation by Guava at the end there. Uh, Hacks kind of went to the same place for that up B, and Guava was ready for it the second time. I feel like a lesser Peach just tries to cover that roll to the left with a Nair. Uh, a Peach 2 in their head might try to double jump land on the platform and go for a tech chase grab. But Guava did, I've never seen that option where he kind of like baited the option and then did a double jump back air. That's, I see what you're saying, the options are. <laughs> yeah, they're not like zany, but they're brilliant. They're unique. Yeah. And the anti-air hit. Great down smash on platform. Got to give credit where credit's due. Wow, what a finisher, okay. Uh, he got caught, he tried to do like a, a hyper float, uh, something there, and he got caught out of it. Got caught without a jump. And yeah, I can see and respect Hax's decision to go to this stage. <laughs> yeah, this is great. This is best of three, best of five. Best of three. Best of three, all right, so. Another thing Hax excels at is killing at the right percent, and that was definitely killing at the right percent. All right. That means he banned stadium. Having none of this recovery stuff, <laughs> absolutely none. No, and I mean, uh, if you have the edge guards, and this matchup becomes so much cleaner, or just so much easier for Peach, I should say. Also, he's going for forward smashes. I'm a big fan of forward smash. Roger Federer with the flat hit for real. It's. Uh, I'm not sure if those are messed up. Uh, the slap dash where you double jump, auto cancel the, the forward air for movement. If you mess that up, you get a forward smash. But for anyone that doesn't know, forward smash is only random, or one out. It's only one out of three for the first. When you do each stock, 
and then after that it can't be two in a row. So you get a 50-50. There are some peaches that in between stocks will like forward smash until they get a frying pan so that they can get a racket or a club on the next forward smash. Ooh, that should kill. Yep, another Call panic. Hacks killing at the right percent. See, this is does not leave anything to anything to chance or anything to spare. This is such a tough stage. Oh my goodness. He's getting killed so early off this. The money. Finds the bread. Forward air. That's gonna be a ledge dash. You have to respect Hacks' wave dash or ledge dashes. You know he's gonna get that glimpse or he's gonna die trying. Okay. That shine should be it. Randall's not gonna save you. I am very curious what this game three is gonna look like after that. So Hax is banning Dreamlands. Probably gonna get FOD or FD, depending on the type of beach Guava is. If he wants, yep. So, most Fiction is calling out for a chain grab, and I, I don't blame yeah, him. Yeah, no, the <laughs> I don't blame him. The the optimal solution here is you go to FD because you have the chain grab. You should just go to FD, right? That's you know free free damage all is, of that is guava honorable is that the rationale here or does guava think there's something here it might be guava isn't as confident with converting kills off the chain, chain grab. grab also doesn't want to face hacks with all of that space uh yeah. there's there's an argument to be made that a runaway lasering fox which hacks really isn't hacks kind of wants to get up and fight but yeah. when you don't have the the platforms and you have that much space hacks can just, you know, rack up damage. Yeah. It also might mean that Guava just likes to play around uh -oh. platforms. He actually, a lot of his game plan has been using the side flats for movement to sort of find his approaches. So it might just be a platform thing. I don't know if Hax uh, still feels this way, but years ago he used to be very anti-gun. Uh, I still think he is mostly anti-gun, I, I based on the rather, way he plays. I think he'd rather just get in your face and drill shine. He's like, why would I rack up damage when I could rack up stocks? Yeah, he thinks it's just not effective enough, and uh, we're seeing we're seeing some action here. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, the one of the sets that pop into my mind when I can think of no gun hacks is hacks versus hungry box uh, during like the yeah. pandemic. That was like, yeah, right. Hey, he totally had that set, and <laughs> then just didn't shoot the gun. The patience to oh hacks. My God. Good you lord. Know, Wava well, should have done one more. Just <laughs> simply playing RPS by not doing anything. Golly. <laughs> Hoo boy. That, that turn up may have covered a, a little bit of a fastball, and he he was covering options like crazy there. That was a great edge card, but he is down a full stock against Hacks Money, which is difficult. Wava well, pretty explosive. He is. Not I, to be counted out, but yes. I think he needs like two hits to convert. You know, one big down smash and then something to knock him off stage. Here we go. This could be it. The fourth throw is questionable. Let's it go low. and goes back to center stage. Oh, a lot of fourth uh, fourth smashes. Oh, that's, that's it. That's game. Hacks a good game three. Hacks is like, oh, damn, that was tough. <laughs> <laughs> damn, that must be tough playing my Fox. 